Hi, I'm Jana, and this is a real mom car tour of the 2024 Chevy Trax. This is the 2RS trim level and has a starting MSRP at just $20,000. The one behind me has a few options and comes in at $25,000. It is affordable, it is small, it is cute, and it was completely redesigned for this model year. So in this quick video, I'm gonna tell you what I love and what you need to know about the Chevy Trax. Let's just get this up on the table. A lot of times you're driving an entry level vehicle, a subcompact or a car with a lower price point, not because you really want a certain type of car. It's because you need a car. You need to get from point A to point B safely. And I'm gonna make a case that this Chevy Trax gets you there not only safely, but in style. Right away, the front fascia is sporty, fresh, and cute. I like the fact that it has a blacked out grill, my LED lights, my LED fog lights, and the black bow tie. You have a camera up in the front here, and you also have a backup camera, which I'll show you in just a second. So just looking on the exterior of the vehicle, I like how this black carries over for your side view mirrors. And you also have a two-toned 19-inch metal wheel. I think the side profile is really cute. And this gives you an example of the size of this car. You have black roof racks up top with the black accented side view mirrors. You just touch this button to lock or unlock the car. This does run regular gas and you get 28 around town and 32 on the highway for a combined 30 MPG. Do we have a stick here? Oh, here we go. Your MPG is so great at 30 miles per gallon on average because you have a 1.3 liter three cylinder under the hood. To get into your hatch, you just touch this button under your bow tie. This does have a privacy cover, tons of cargo room. You do have a light, a storage cubby here, three top tethers for your car seat installation, and you have a spare tire under here. Let's look at a couple of details in the back. You have your black bow tie, an exposed wiper, your tail lights, also LED, your red RS badging, that black trim that kind of comes around here and just gives it this 40 feel. And I really like that Trax is in black. Again, this is a subcompact car and you can see the size of it. Let me tell you who subcompacts are great for. First time drivers, teen drivers, college students, young professionals, city dwellers, retirees, people that need an extra vehicle. Let's say you have a second home, a beach house or something where you need a little run around car. Or if you drive an RV and you want to pull a car behind you so you have something smaller when you get to your campground or destination, the Chevy Trax will check all the boxes for those types of drivers. Let's check out the back seat. I have plentiful legroom, much better headroom back here than I do as a driver. You have a USB and a USB-C charging port, a little storage cubby here, my kid's bubble gum wrapper. You have two sets of lower latches, the three top tethers I mentioned, and you do have two headrests. We are missing a head restraint in this position, so you just need to know that. And this seat is set up on a 60-40 split and will lay totally flat. So let me just show you that so you can get an idea. If you were hauling a ton of cargo, this is set up on a 60-40 split and these seats do lay flat. Let's talk about what it's like for the driver. Right away, I am really impressed with some of the attention to detail in this car and sheerly on the fact that it's a $25,000 car, which is really a great value in this market. There aren't many brand new cars with new safety and tech that are at this price point. So you have some really nice design elements like the red RS stitching, extra red accents, really well bolstered leatherette seats that are perforated, extra red trim and red stitching, which carries over on your dash. You have more detail here. These turbine kind of, um, I'm gonna call it a turbine. I may mispronounce that but the round vents, which I think just look really neat, really cool. 
you do have extra stitching here. You have a leather-like grip on your steering wheel. And let's start her up so I can just show you some of the animation on the dash. You have an eight inch digital display in front of the driver an 11 inch color touchscreen here that has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it's really easy to use. I like being able to get into a vehicle and figure out how to turn on the radio or mess with the climate. You can control your climate here and it's also pulled out. Notice for $25,000, let's get back to the real deal. You have this flat bottom steering wheel, which gives you more leg room. It's heated. You also have heated front seats, which I absolutely love. A wireless charging pad, a USB, a USB-C, a 12 volt plug. You also have lane keep and your auto start and stop. Two cup holders and an area to put your phone, which I think is fabulous. Extra storage here and underneath your armrest. No surprises there. One of the things that is a surprise is this is an option to have a sunroof. So you do have this manual open. Really nice. I always want to have a sunroof just because I like the extra light. I don't, I can't say that I open it that much to feel the wind come in, but I like it for lighting purposes. So I've been driving this for a week now, and I will tell you that I'm used to driving cars with bigger engines. As we mentioned earlier, this does have a 1.3 liter three cylinder but I feel like you can't have both. You can't have a big, impressive engine that's making all these horsepower and also have great MPG at a value price. All those things don't really go together. So one of the things you have here is safety and style because you do have the latest tech. I feel like this is a really, oh, this here, steering wheel feels so good. My hands are frozen. It is so cold today. Let me just warm those up so I can, so I can speak correctly. You do have a good warranty, a five year, 60,000 mile on your powertrain. I also wanna show you one of the other things I was impressed by is you do have a remote start. Not all cars have that. And again, at this price point, I think that is fabulous. You can manually adjust your seats with the levers, levers on the side. And really this is pretty straightforward. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? So I hope you enjoyed this real mom car tour of the 2024 Chevy Trax. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. I try to put out new content every week. Any mistakes, I blame on the blonde hair or the mom brain. So go easy on me guys. For more fun and family car reviews, like and subscribe to Real Mom Car Tours.